Today we're going to show how using Docker Desktop Extension for Telepresence can enable fast feedback when test driving local code changes that rely on interacting with a series of remote dependencies running in a Kubernetes cluster. Our Emoji user service here consists of three services that collaborate to display a web page that is powered by a backend API. We want to test drive changes to our user service to display more whales, but without running all three services locally. To accomplish this, I'll run the user service via a local container with my source code mounted as a volume and use Docker desktop extension for telepresence to connect my laptop into the remote cluster. With the connection complete, I can now create a personal intercept to reroute my test traffic request made via a secure preview URL or telepresence header, and this specific traffic destined to the remote service will be rerouted to my local machine. I can run my tests against a remote website and see one test for listing emojis and one fail for not returning all whales. I make a corresponding change in my local code and the hot reload is triggered in my container. I run my tests again against the remote app and now the second test passes. My local changes have shown up instantly within the remote app. I can view the results of my local changes using the preview URL and only myself and people I share this secured URL with will see the changes remotely. Please visit a8r.io slash docker to learn more about Docker Desktop for Telepresence and to get started. If you've played around with our Docker Desktop extension for Telepresence and want to know more details about what's going on behind the scenes or additional functionality that Telepresence offers, I recommend popping along to the documentation. Here there's a deep dive into every aspect of Telepresence. The most interesting place to start is often the intercepts overview. And if we go to the no intercept, you can see what typically happens when you're making a request against a website, like we did with our user emoji app. You're making a request, it's hitting an API, hitting a website and going through to your backend services running in Kubernetes. This is nice and simple, runs in production, provides great value. But when you want to make a change and when you want to work on one service locally while interacting with all the remote services, this is where the power of the personal intercept comes in. What you're then doing is making a request against your API, your website, your ingress point with a header set, typically via a preview URL. We generate that automatically for you within the Telepresence tool. Once you make a request, that header is then propagated down through the stack via your ingress, via your services. It's very common to propagate headers these days for observability and other reasons. And once the header is propagated all the way down through the stack, Telepresence can intelligently say, ah, this request is destined for this local machine and make that routing decision accordingly, as you can see down here. This enables you to use Telepresence in a shared staging environment and only the requests made with a secure preview URL or with a personal header set will be routed to your local machine. You can also share the preview URL or header with a teammate and they will be able to see the results of your local changes instantly. With this information in mind, let's now do a deeper dive into the Docker desktop extension for Telepresence demo and look behind the scenes at how everything works. Today we're going to be test driving changes in our emoji user service running remotely in a Kubernetes cluster. The architecture is shown on the screen here. There's three services, the web service that calls out to the user service, and in turn, the web service then calls out to the emoji service to get our users emojis. You can see the results actually here, running a remote Kubernetes cluster, all three services up and running there. I want to make a change to the user service, but I don't want to run all three services locally because they're quite large Java apps. So what I'm going to do is use the power of Docker desktop and with the Telepresence extension to just run one service, the user service locally in a container, make changes there, but use Telepresence to connect up to the remote cluster and test drive my changes uh, with, with the local and the remote being connected. So first off, we've got our application up and running here. You can see that I'm, each user has got the emojis. Clearly, we need more whales and DockerCon, right? We've also got an API behind the scenes that is powering that website, and I'm going to use this to test drive my changes. So first off, I'm going to navigate to my IntelliJ IDE and run a Docker container with the user source code mounted into that container. So any changes I make in my local ID here will be instantly reflected in that container. We've got a hot reload going on there so I can code away really fast and make my changes and see them instantly. What I'm going to do now is use Docker Desktop to connect up to the remote cluster. So let's bring up Docker Desktop. We'll navigate into the Telepresence extension. We'll connect into our remote Kubernetes cluster. I've only got one cluster running locally. That should be nice and easy with the contexts. Once Telepresence connects up, it gets a list of all services that we can intercept, that we can work on, and we'll be picking the user Java Docker service. Let's create an intercept there. Everything looks good. I've already configured the advanced ingress options. You can see our URL uh, here looks good. I'll now click Submit. That intercept gets set up in the background and traffic is going to be routed from our remote Kubernetes cluster into our local machine, into our container running within IntelliJ here. 
Now everything looks good. Let me just get the preview URL so we can test that works correctly. Looks good. We're now accessing our services, but the emojis are being generated from our local uh, running container over here. You can actually see some debug fly up as we uh, made that request there. What I'll also do is get my telepresence intercept ID and get this quite easily from the container running over here. I'll just do a telepresence list, get my intercept ID, and this I can use now. Only people that have this intercept ID, myself, I could share it with you, can access the changes we're making in our little bubble in the cluster in our intercept. So I'll take that intercept ID, put this into my test suite I've got over here in, in VS Code. Excellent. If I now run our Mocha test suite, you can see we get a check and a cross. Now, the first check is that we are are successfully able to list all the emojis, but we're not getting all whales back. This test is currently failing. So what I'm going to do is go over to my IDE here. I've got some pre-baked code. If I uncomment that, comment that and save, we get the instant hot reload in our container shown down below here. And now I can rerun that test to check if my changes are, are correct. And you'll look at the changes. I'm literally just overriding every user's emoji to be a whale. Not exactly a fair, fair, fair test, right? But it does meet the goal. Everyone now is going to be showing whales. If I run my test suite again, I get a check, I get a check. Both tests have now passed. The magic of being able to change things locally in that one container, but being able to test, if you know, I'm hitting the main ingress in my test, being able to test the remote services and my local service can call out into the remote cluster as well really nice fast feedback loops just running the one container locally but interacting with all the services running remotely and i can actually see with the preview url the changes i've made if i click refresh on this page now you'll see all whales are displayed here right this is the change we, we test drove if I go back to my main ingress URL and click refresh, I'm not passing any headers in here. I'm not using the preview URL. You can see the current results are what you'd expect. So everyone hitting production, everyone hitting this URL is going to get the experience they expect. But you and I, as we're test driving our changes, we're seeing the changes in our little bubble here. Accelerate your test workflow today with a simple one-click install of Telepresence via the Docker Desktop Extension Marketplace. You can also find documentation at a8r.io slash docker dash docs. And please join the conversation in Slack at a8r.io slash Slack.